Hi everybody, I hope everybody's doing well today. It's Random Terry here again with you. And I have another, you know, Timu haul. It's been only like a hot minute since I got an order. Um, and I'm obsessed, I'll have to tell you that. Um, because I have like this order. Two items were from the last order, so I put grouped it in with this. But I have like five more orders that are on their way. But let's let's get on with this. <laughs> so the two things that I had from last um, last time, and I do hope everybody's doing well. I'm great here today. Minus hmm, maybe a little bit of pain, but we're not gonna go there. Got to deal with it. Um, so one item comes in the plastic bag, but I kind of took it out in this cute little box. This was three forty eight. This is. A wax seal stamp um, for my wedding I had like I like sunflowers so I had like a little sunflower stamp and um, I got a hot glue gun and I got the the wax glue sticks or the wax sticks to go in it and it was so easy and you learn how to do it and this one is a bee and I thought that was so cute um, Lord knows if I'm going to use it or not because um, the other one I needed, this one, I don't know, but it's a nice wood handle. And some of these you can, um, I don't think this one does, and I don't want to ruin it by trying to do it. But some of them you can change the heads on them. You can unscrew that. But isn't that nice looking? And who wouldn't want to get like a card that has like a wax stamp? Um, so I think I said in my last haul, that I have like a bee and honeycomb theme thing coming up. Um, so on the card, I think I might seal it and put this on it. What do y'all think? Kind of goes along with the, the theme. And that was three forty eight. dollars Just get that over here. Okay. And the other thing that was in my last haul but didn't, hadn't come was a, it's like a birthday card. And I saw this. Oh, okay. It, it's really cute, and you'll see the little thing up there, like musical. It is three ninety eight for this card, and you could not get them, I don't think, any cheaper anywhere else. So, it's a happy birthday card, really pretty, and then when you open it up, it's like a pop-up cake, and then this little tab here, you pull it out, and this I believe it lights up I think it lights up I think that's what it showed in the online and it also plays music cool so cool um, who wouldn't want to receive this for their birthday it makes it so special uh, and then this has a little a little thing that says happy birthday and you can write on the back so you don't have to write on this if you don't you know want to mess it up so, you know, birthdays are coming up, and hopefully this will give... Oh, it even says happy birthday on the, the cake there. But I think that's just too cool. So that's that card. three ninety eight for this. I like these pop-up cards. And if I could use my Cricut, maybe I could make my own, but uh, it seems a little labor-intensive for that. So, um, where do we go now? I'm gonna go with this little bag here. This little bag here was $1.98, and it is for magnets, tropical magnets. Natural rubber, oh, they're rubber magnets? Cool. So just little refrigerator magnets, and they are, I'll turn it this way so we don't glare, um, they are the leaf. Now, if you saw my last haul, I bought that leaf spoon, that's going in a, you know, door drop basket, which I might show you. I don't know. Um, and then these, I saw these these leaf magnets, and I thought it matches, so I'm I have to get them. And a dollar ninety eight. I'm gonna add that little something something to it. So that will be cute in that. Um, 
And while I'm on that, maybe I'll pull this over. Oh, okay. I didn't know what to do with my hair today. And I keep dropping things. Okay. So, in this card, this is the card that I'm going with the basket, and it is another pop-up card. And I put a little Irish um, saying in there, supposedly, I guess, or what seemed to be Irish saying. And I'm not going to take this out, but I'll show you what it looks like. <sighs> because I got everything packed in there, and we've got our little, our little gnome sticking out, and my little beaded garland, and... There's a couple little mugs in there, green mugs that I got off of Amazon. Oh, this is heavy. Some green apples, because it's green. And that's how it's going to be presented with the lights. And the spoons in there, and I have some green hand soap, dial hand soap in there. And um, it's just a green theme, and I think that's kind of cool. And the bag has green in it, too. So this is a green bag, and then it's got the yellow card. So that yellow will go with it. And I wrote on the back of the card, it ain't easy being green. Can anybody tell me who that, who says that? I'm not going to say who it is. I know who it is. But if anybody can tell me, they can put it in the comments. <sighs> and this is heavy. I don't want to put it on the floor because I don't want to get in hairy. Mm -mm. So that was really cool, and I happened to find a, um, I don't even know where I got it. I had it in my my stash. Um, green apple wine. Sweet wine. She likes sweet wine. It has like a green apple in the front of it. So I just thought that was kind of cool. I went with that. So those are going to go with that. I don't want to forget that. Knowing me, I'll go deliver it, and I'll forget to put that in because it'll be left here with this. Okay. Where do we go from here? Okay, I'm not going to sing. I'm sorry. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I'll just go with what's right in front of me here. This is a pump dispenser. It was $2.49. And I saw somebody else do this and show it. And I wanted the bigger one. And they... Uh, it was in my cart. This is another thing. It was in my cart. That is plastic. Excuse me. It was in my cart. And then when I went before I checked out, it was sold out. So it was out of my cart. So I found the small one. I put it in. I ordered it. And then the next order, one that's coming, I put two more in it because I forgot. So, but what's so special about this? You put like the foaming hand soap in. And if you look at the top there where the soap comes out, yeah, those little petal type things. Yeah, you, okay, it's clamped off. I'm not gonna take it off right now. But you push down on it and when you hold up, it's like a flower on your hand. And I thought, that's cool. Um, just have that sitting by the um, sink. I might give one away and then I have another one. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I usually get some of the um, foaming hand soap from Bath and Body Works. So, and I don't know how much this holds. But I don't know how many ounces this holds, but it can always be refilled. So there is that. And then something that's just utilitarian here. Dollar forty-eight. Yes. They are bra extenders. And this is another thing where I bought these two and I have two more coming because I forgot that I had, had them in this order. Such is life with me. So there's that because I'm getting to be a big girl. And uh, my bras need to be a little bit bigger and I can't find the style that I like to get another size. So... I'll buy these, put them out, and then hopefully I'll be losing weight after surgery. So, that is that. And then we have, we'll go with this here. 
in this little box. It was $5.98. It is a mini sealing machine. Came in plastic in this box. Oh, and it has a piece of plastic to try. I bet because it came in this plastic in this box, the little um, user manual, three in one heat sealer and cutter. And oh yeah, push power switch, blue light is on, put the bag in the location of the product to the product sealing working area, rotate, plus position is sealing mode. Okay, this cuts and seals and it is rechargeable. It has a magnet so you can put it on the fridge or the side of the fridge or whatever. It comes with the USB charging cord. The little thing in the back. And this cuts open your packages or your bags and also reseals them. So I guess like the chips or um, anything else you want to reseal. So I this was floating around in the box and I don't know if that goes over there. That might keep it from being turned on and um, dying but the battery going dead yeah that stays on pretty good so you take that off you would do that it's a little blue light blue light special who remembers that that was Kmart wasn't it I kind of miss Kmart okay and there's a little okay so there's like a little mark on the dial there if you can see that Hoo -hoo. and then you turn it up this way okay oh you gotta move fast or it starts melting it but that'll cut it okay and then you turn it that little not oh you gotta smell plastic that gets hot in there it's not hot around here but it gets hot in there um, and then you would turn that knob to the side it's off you can't push the button and then back down towards the light it should seal it let's give it a go here just put it in there Good gravy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to watch it. This is going to take a learning curve. <laughs> There's a learning curve with this, I can just tell. I'm going to turn it sideways, yep. And then I'm going to turn it off. Yeah, because that does get warm in there. And I can smell the plastic. So it cuts it. And then the other one, it seals it. So, and if you can see in there, I don't know if you can see in there. Oh. That, I think, is the, the heat. And then if I turn it up, so it's like aiming towards the, towards the open end, you can see the, you can, I don't know if you can see the little, really tiny in there, um, the cutter. So that's nice, and then I lost my button cover. That's what I'm afraid this is going to do. Is it going to lo get lost? Is it going to get lost? It's going to lost. <laughs> And maybe that was just to travel so it wouldn't get hit and turned on. I don't know. So we're going to be trying this out. And I love that it's a magnet. And I love that it come in. They come with instructions. And a little bag to try. So that's kind of cool. And what I actually bought this for is my. I'll say it. Oh my goodness. That thing keeps falling before I lose it let me pick it up my 
goodness. Okay. I'm just going to put it in the box. This is going to be the death of me. Okay. What I bought this for was my Color Street nail strips because they come in plastic like this that um, once I'm done, they tell you not to, like, one-time use and not to reseal. But um, it's always my call if I want to. And lots of times it's... Uh, I'll find the words. My prerogative to reuse them and lots of other people have resealed them and have reused them to make, you know, the and I don't have any on right now. I've been black on that. Lax on that. Ooh. Okay, moving along. But that's what I tried, I'm gonna use them for. And that little, did I tell you what that was? That was, Five ninety eight dollars for that little sealer. So, and I do believe it comes in, oh yeah, it comes with USB charging, open bag, seal bag. Oh no, it's USB charging, opens bag, seals the bag. Okay. So, you can do all that with it. And I believe it does come in other colors. It does is marked white on the side. I just thought white looked the cleanest and I don't know blend with more things instead of sticking out like a sore thumb so and I don't have anything to match it with so I just got the white so there's that and then I oh this is made in China okay moving along we all know that um this is $3.99 and it is dishwasher magnets and I'm gonna look at them for the first time here now I have a cute dishwasher magnet that I got from Dollar Tree and it was it has like a dog on it on both sides there's a dog and one is like a clean dog and it says clean and the other side it says like a dirty dog so um, the thing with that is every time I flip it over and stuff actually not so much with this one but a prior magnet it would shift on the um, front of the dishwasher and make like little scratches on it and I was getting kind of tired of that because I don't want scratches on my dishwasher. Lord knows I kind of complained to a guy that was putting flooring in in a rental place I did because I had bought a new washer and dryer and he set things on top of it and there were scratches on my brand new washer and dryer. And I complained. But since then my washer is, yeah, well used. Let's put it that way. Okay. So, it comes with these little, well, they're 3M, too. 3M, double-coated tissue tape or something. Whatever. These are probably a double-sided, um, there's two of them, double-sided little dots. Hopefully it's not, you got to stick them on. I guess it is. I'm going to have to see if this is a magnet. It says magnets on the box. So, is that anything metal? Shoot. Maybe I do have something metal. If it's not aluminum. Nope. One of my spoons. Oh, yes, this magnet. Oh. It is a magnet. Okay. That's good because I didn't want to put stickies on my, um, in front of my dishwasher. Let's put these back. If I don't do it now, then I will forget to do it. So, so you put that on your fridge and all, or the dishwasher, and all you have to do is slide it. Of course, this is a little bit, not hold it like that. It's a little tight, but I thought that was pretty. And it's not like, doesn't stick out because they did have one that was, I think, like red and then the other one was green or something, but you just slide it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something in there so it's a. Uh... 
because I can see trying to slide it when it's on the dishwasher and flinging it off. I'm just being real because that's probably what would happen. So there is that lovely little thing. I'm going to slide that in there so I don't lose the stickies, but I'm not even going to use the stickies, so I don't care if I lose them or not, really. So use them or lose them. Let's do it. Oh, and then something else I'm excited for. Um, this is for my son, and I've been meaning to get him one of these before because he has put up at least three TVs. One of them's mine for me, um, where he drilled in the, you know, put the, the mount on the wall and then drilled holes down and ran the wires down and put the little plate in the bottom where the plug is and you plug it in so you don't see the cords coming down. And he did one for himself and then he did one in another room. And it's funny because when I helped him with this one, we we're trying to put in, put our phone in the hole and then look at the screen on camera so we can look down there. So what I got, which was $6.98, is a, like a scope. I think it says, it's like an HD camera. I think it's one meter long. Let's pull this out of here. I don't wanna lose any of it. Oh, okay. I am not quite sure what these are. It's like some little, like a little spring clip thing, parts for it, for something. It does show the tip of this in water. Endoscope user manual. Three in one, type C and Android PC endoscope. Okay, so there's oh, instructions in Chinese, but instructions in Spanish, or uh, English too. So, I didn't get the real, real long one. So I'm not gonna really unwind it, but there's the tip that goes, I guess, down in the wall. And there's some sort of little switch here on the side. I don't know what that does. And then there's two plugs. There's a USB, so I think you can put that in to use that of your computer. Which, let's see here if I can plug this in and see if we get light or anything. My only thing is hopefully you don't have to put an app, hook up an app. Oh, setting up a device for setting up HD camera is what it says on my screen. I plugged it into my laptop and I am going to, oh, untwist this. I'll just wind it up again. So when I plugged it in, it's a meter, so it's about a yard long. The end did come on, and I guess there is a little, probably camera in there. That's kind of cool. Sorry if I'm blinding you. Um, I'm not sure how to open it on here because I want to see if I can see things. Hmm. Okay, and let's see this little inline switch, what that does. Oh. It dims it. It doesn't turn it off completely, I don't think. But if you don't, oh, it does turn it off completely. It's a dimmer. Wow, so if you need more that's going to be cool. I've, these were a lot more expensive when I looked for them. Like, I think Home Depot and I think on Amazon, they were a lot more. So, it's kind of sturdy, so it'll stay where you want it, I guess. Kind of a wire. So, we're going to see. And I'm not, I do not know what these are for. It's a spring and then some other little knobby looking things but it's gonna go with them package endoscope small hook magnet side audition fixed set and a manual so so 
So that's for my son. And it's small. It won't take up much room in his toolbox. So I'm kind of really psyched about this because this will probably come in very handy when he does things like that. And he's contemplating moving again. Which means the television comes down and it'll be put back up somewhere else. And he'll probably want to do the same thing. So. Yeah, I tried to put the one up on the wall with him. Where we were before. Or where he is now. So, okay. Good. Put that back in the box so we don't lose anything. And I just thought that was stinking cool when I found that. $6.98, we'll give it a shot. So it looks like it works. I don't plug it in my phone because I'm taping on my phone, recording on my phone. So that's for my son. I mean, you can look down. I might get one of these for my husband too. Um, if he needs to look down in the engine or something and he can't see, he can plug it into his phone and look. Engine, back of appliances if he's looking at things. Uh, down, this is what I need because my sink kind of it doesn't go down real well. Um, and I could look down there and see. Maybe I'll use it. No, I'm kidding. I won't use his thing. So that's probably going to come in real handy. Okay. And then something else that's kind of utilitarian. A couple things here that I got. Um, this is a... Uh, this was 89 cents. And it is like just a... Um, a cloth, what do they call it on here? Window cleaning brush kit. It's not really a brush, but like if you're in the car, I, this is not a real long handle. I like that. I can keep it in the car, maybe next to my seat. Um, put it together my goodness okay okay so that is that and you put it on your thing and you clean your handle and this is a little let's hope this fits over it huh it's supposed to let's give it a go It's snug. I'm trying to put it on the wrong way. Oh, okay. Maybe I was putting it on the wrong way. Okay, trying to get it on is kind of a little bit of a... This what you wanted to do today is just sit and watch me struggle. Probably not, huh? Oh, it's fitting on. I just got to be smarter than the tool. Okay. And it does fit on there. I just had pulled too much over one side. So that's my little cover. Keep that in the car. Clean the window. Because, you know, when the husband's in the car and I'm driving and he's in the passenger seat and he'll say, you should clean your windows more often inside. It's got that film, and I was like, feel free. I'm okay with it. So, um, plus, I'm the driver, and I'm fine through my windshield, seeing through my windshield. So, but I'm going to put this in there, because he does have a point, but I'm just not going to let him know that. And then, for 59 cents, I bought another cover for it. So, that's not going to fit in the bag that way. So, it's not going to fit in the bag, so we won't put it in the bag. And then i got to make sure I keep this where I can find it again. All right, and something else that's utilitarian. Do, 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 do. It's a cup cleaning brush. This came across my um, Facebook feed on Timu because you know, you mentioned Timu or something, your uh, Google and Facebook are gonna give you ads for it. They just do. But I saw this and I thought, this is cool. My cups are gonna love me. I'm gonna love it. It was only a dollar thirty-eight. It is a cleaning brush, and it says gap brush. So um, I believe this 
can get around like the rim and in the um there I am again the threads of the cap to screw it on right this can get in like the ridge and then if you turn it the other way there's another little brush to get in those spots so I thought this was cool it's like a three-in-one it's it's pretty it seems sturdy I'm wondering if this only moves one way it snaps you do that listen to it it does snap okay yeah it moves one way it goes like that way but it doesn't go back the other way okay which is great that's fine and then these little like teeth and stuff in there seem like they might be like silicone I don't know but I thought that was a handy little thing not that big gonna give it a try because I have the straw brush already and sometimes I try to use that to get down around in the you know the ridges on your water bottles and they have the straw coming out of it and those little nooks and crannies this is gonna be handy for that I'm kind of excited to use that and then moving on to what I found and it's in the picture uh, my thumbnail I believe is this now I opened this charged it tried it isn't that cool that like some of the stuff from Timu like what was it that I showed like my sealer and then this and I had a little lamp that I had hauled before they all come with like USB cords to recharge and I'm thinking that cuts down on battery purchasing so right there it kind of saves you money but this is saying it's um Bluetooth and it's like Apple and Android compatible and let's show you what it is and this came with like a plastic seal around it and this was $16.98 that's not the only cost in this too because I had to buy the labels for $4.98 so it came up a little bit and I'm going to get some more labels because I think it's cool after I used it quick start guide tells you how to download so this is a label printer like a thermal label printer and inside the box it comes with this really long <laughs> charge cord I had to sit the box on the floor because I plugged it into the side of my recliner there's a USB port and I thought it's handy I put it there and I couldn't set the thing anywhere I had to take a box put under it to sit on it so for it to sit on rather so it comes really nice, a sturdy box even. And our lovely little charge thing. Now, or label printer, charge port. It's embossed with the name Nimbot, N-I-M-B-O-T. This is where you, it like you push it back, it pops open and you put the roll of um, labels in. You hold this down for three seconds. And it sings a happy tune. It's happy that you woke it up. Um, yeah, label printer. That's it. And to, uh, you just push it like one push. You know, hold it down, it starts it. Hold it down, it stops it. You just give it kind of one push and the, um, oh. Oh, it saved the last thing I wrote. I made one before because I was playing around with it and uh, it holds the word. So if you keep pushing it, it's going to push until you change. Um, now, how to, here, let me turn it off now. really cool a little bit weighty kind of nice my new toy I have one that you know, push the buttons and you print it and it comes out and um, I kind of forgot how to use some of that because there's these little buttons to change it from caps to down and change the italics on it and uh, the screen 
is kind of, I don't know if the cells in the screen are going dead because I can't read half of it. So, yeah. So these are kind of small. But you download an app, the Nimbot app, and you, like, connect. You have to make sure this is on. Connect it with Bluetooth. And then you find your, you click on your label. You type in what you want. You can adjust the size of it because I first printed off this one. This is cornmeal. It's going to go on my little Tupperware container that I put my cornmeal in. Because I have cornmeal and cream of wheat and they're sitting on top of each other and stuff and sometimes I forget. I mean, you can see through it, so I know the yellow one is cornmeal, but if somebody else comes in the kitchen and they don't know which is which, I'll have it labeled. So, it was like that, and then I figured out how to, in to make the, the label or the letters bigger. So, this is going to be cool. Um, let's see, I don't know which one's first or not, but the yeah, you have to buy the label separate. So I have another um, order coming that has labels. And they're a little bit longer. And I bought pink ones. For me. It matches. Um, but, so, hello. I should have printed out Hello Kitty. So when I first turned it on, you kind of put that out. And then it printed out the little barcode of the machine. And then I printed out my cornmeal. So... That's my fun little toy for this. And it did not come with labels, so I'm glad I bought labels because I don't know if it says. There's not really too much description on the Timu website on items, so you have to kind of read the heading. It kind of tells you a little bit more. And sometimes in the pictures, they give you sizes and stuff of things. So I'm going to put that all back. This is the little bag that the labels came in. And I didn't know how small my label was because it was like um, in millimeters. So maybe I just should have got the biggest millimeter. So that's that. And that'd make a nice little gift for somebody that wanted it. And I was a little bit um, scared to download an app <laughs> on my phone. But it seems like it's fine. You know, time will tell, I guess. So when I put it in there and hooked up the downloaded the app, signed in, it says which, it tells you, you, you have to select which printer you have. And there was a whole bunch of them that Nimbot makes. So this is not just a one and done thing. They are in the label business, it seems like. So there's that. So I'm really happy with that. And we're getting along here. Okay. And Lord knows if you're with me now, up to this point, Thank you. <laughs> so, and another thing here, 238. So, I know somebody commented about my bumblebee basket. And hopefully I might make, a, you know, show that one to you guys at some point when I make it. It's not going to be for a while, but I'm kind of starting to collect stuff. But this is like a little ice cube maker. Now, isn't that stinking cute? You could have little honeycomb-shaped ice cubes or little hex or uh, yeah hexagon octagon is eight hexagon shaped ice cubes it comes with the top this is very flexible so if you put water in there maybe keep it on the counter put the lid on it the cap on it and then take it to the fridge otherwise you might have stuff all over the place but let's see how well this top fits on it it doesn't snap it's very loose on it at least I don't think it snaps on it. Oh, maybe it kind of does. It's still very, it, like, kind of loose on it. But I thought that was, you know, see, it doesn't kind of stay on it real well. But at least it covers it when you put it in the freezer so you don't get, like, taste from the freezer in your ice. So there is that, and I just thought that was something fun. Y'all think it's fun? I thought it was. So, and for what? Two thirty-eight. Lovely. Okay, and this last thing I got is for a gift. Um, 
don't know if I want to show it to you or not, but I think I will. It was $4.49, and it's a metal sign. And I should have brought scissors open. I'm just going to rip it open. So there is like a styrofoam in the back. That's nice because I was kind of worried because they throw everything in the bag. And I thought this metal hopefully wouldn't get bent, but they have that in there so that helps prevent that from getting bent. So this is a metal sign and the friend I have has horses and she just, she got two red heelers, their brother and sister, and she had them there a trip watching them watching her post on Facebook. I'm not going to take the plastic off, so I apologize ahead of time for the glare. But it says, and she lived happily ever after. Got her horse and her two dogs. And she has more than one horse. So, But I thought that was just kind of cool. And I like the vintage look of that. Isn't that cool? And the two little dogs. I know they're not red heelers, but... Oh, and there are more horses in the background. Just cool. So that's just a little metal sign. It does, it is metal. It's got little holes to put it up there with. So I just thought that was kind of cool. So, and for four, what, 4.49? Sometimes you get these metal signs. They are not um, cheap. So that's my haul for you for today. I will try somebody made the suggestion thank you for the suggestion and the heads up and the pointers or whatever to put links to my items in the description box so i will hopefully be doing that so look down there for those um and that's that's where we are with this so i hope you enjoyed this if you like this kind of thing subscribe um like give me thumbs up comment um and i have to apologize sometimes i don't always see my comments i mean it will sometimes notify me, but I don't always see it right away on my phone. So periodically I'll go back and I'll look at them all. <laughs> I have to get in the habit of doing that. So um, there's that. Um, and I'm just going to say bye for now. And I will see you next time because, you know, I've got those other five hauls coming or five orders coming. So you'll probably see me in the future. <laughs>